Hello, welcome to another review by thisreviewer.com. Today we are going to review the Nokia 8. In fact, if you have been longing to have a Nokia flagship device running on the Android platform since the Luminar series, the Nokia 8 is the best you can get as of now. The device launches at £499, which makes it some £500 cheaper than the Apple iPhone X. And although the device racks only a 4 star rating in our book, it's a decent phone to go for if you're a Nokia lover and want to save money while still enjoying elegant functionality and performance. The phone also has a boothy feature that allows users to take pictures with both front and rear cameras at the same time. The resolution means that the device comes with a very laudable 554 pixel perfect density. The screen is protected with a resilient Gorilla Glass 5 screen. The Nokia 8 does not offer edge-to-edge -edge display compatibility that is found on the Samsung Galaxy S8 or the LG G6, but comes with what is arguably a super bright display that gives a dazzling maximum brightness, which peaks at 663CD M2. This means that even if you are out on the sunniest and brightest days, you will never need to squint at your phone screen to catch the display. The screen is also very clear and sharp as we expected to find on a flagship device and features a quad HD resolution. Although the phone lacks some of the HDR capabilities that higher priced devices have, the phone screen does well in the colour aspects. Nokia 8 has an sRGB colour gamut coverage of 98.5% when put to test with the X-Rite Color Calibrator. The 2K capabilities of the device means the Netflix on the go is a seamless experience. The first thing that will stare you in the face is its 5.3 inches screen that packs a 2560 by 1440 resolution display. The Nokia 8 is easily the best design sported by any HMD device so far. The Nokia 8 charms with nicely camfered edges, sloping sides and a classic single block aluminium back. The phone is light and thin spanning just 7.3mm in thickness and the design is fully functional which means that it's not all looks and will sit perfectly in your hand and allow you to use the fingerprint scanner quite comfortably. The phone comes in matte and glossy colours but the shiny copper was easily our favourite. Overall the Nokia 8 measures 151.5 by 73.7 by 7.9 millimeters and weighs just 160 grams. The Nokia 8 is a far cry from being slow, sluggish or problematic. The Nokia 8 is the premium flagship that is packed with 4 GB of RAM and the latest Snapdragon 835 CPU. The setup uses a water cooling element that disperses heat around the phone and ensures a cool, smooth performance. The device runs on the latest Android Nougat 7.11 that Nokia has promised to give the Android Oreo updates once available. The software also houses a lot of functional and useful apps that will keep users happy and ensure maximum productivity from the device. Things we loved about the Nokia 8, it's posh and elegant design, 3K battery capacity, it's well lit. Things we didn't like about the Nokia 8. Stock Android has some irrelevant features and the competition makes its offering look less impressive. The camera is one interesting aspect of the Nokia 8. HMD delivers a unique and innovative bunch of features and packs the device with quite a punch with a 13 megapixel front camera as primary and the double 13 megapixel camera lens at the rear.